Welcome to Military Upgrade. The Pentagon Space Development Agency may acquire new satellites as part of a global missile tracking space sensor array aimed at providing a defense shield against Russian and Chinese ballistic and hypersonic missiles. Current missile defense systems lack the capability required to effectively track and destroy hypersonic weapons. Due to its speed and hypermaneuverability, hypersonic weaponry is designed to outmaneuver current detection systems. The growing capabilities of China and Russia in space have sparked concerns in the United States about potential threats to U.S. assets. Current defensive capabilities aren't up to the task when it comes to intercepting and destroying potential hypersonic threats. To solve this issue, the U.S. is aggressively spending on research and development to fill the gap. The new system would enable the Pentagon to test new sensors and interceptors against actual targets. In simple terms, the target developed by Stratolaunch will allow MVA to understand how to engage and intercept potential hypersonic missile threats, especially from America's adversaries, China and Russia. The company, which specializes in high-speed flight test services, has not disclosed the contract amount as yet. Owing to a combination of great speed and maneuverability, hypersonic boost glide vehicles pose a considerable challenge to defenders. Their flight patterns of hypersonic missiles are different from the ones that existing missile defense systems are designed to intercept. Most missile defense systems have been developed to locate, monitor, and intercept conventional ballistic missiles. Stratolaunch intends to augment Pentagon's existing flight test resources through cost-effective, commercially contracted, rapid turnaround hypersonic flight testing. Daniel Millman, chief technology officer of Stratolaunch, said, We're pleased to provide MDA with a threat representative and threat replicating target that helps them to understand how to engage and intercept hypersonic threats. The company declared publicly last year that it plans to focus on hypersonic testing services instead of space services. Following the death of its founder, Paul Allen in 2018, the company was acquired by Cerberus Capital Management, shifting its focus to high-speed flight testing services. Allen was one of Microsoft's co-founders. In 219, Gene Floyd, former president of Stratolaunch, said the new vision of the company was breaking barriers. This points to a shift in focus away from satellite launches and toward hypersonic flight testing. These are difficult to carry out over land because of sonic booms but considerably easier to carry out from an air launch system over the open ocean. Stratolaunch's press statement does not specify if the target it would supply to MDA is a completely new innovation or one associated with the existing design the business has been focusing on. In September, the company announced that a critical design review of its Talon a hypersonic test vehicle design had been completed, with the intention of conducting the first flight test of one of the vehicles next year. Stratolaunch is developing Talon A, a fully reusable hypersonic vehicle. The 8.5-meter-long high-speed testbed has a 3.4-meter-wide wingspan. It is believed to be capable of reaching speeds of at least Mach 6 or 6 times the speed of sound. Long-duration missions at high Mach speeds will be possible with the launch vehicle. Upon completion of the mission, it will glide back to a standard runway for an autonomous, horizontal landing. Stratolaunch's carrier aircraft can also launch the hypersonic vehicle into the air, cruising at 10,000 meters. Up to three Talon of vehicles can be carried by the carrier aircraft, allowing for quick Constellation deployment to varied inclinations.